Okay, so it looks like we do have um, at least one person joining us. So we just wanna check to make sure that you can hear us okay before we um, proceed with the stakeholder meeting. So if you can raise your hand, that lets me know that you can hear me. And it doesn't look like you have audio or anything set up yet. So um, I'll give you a, a minute. I might start with the meeting and then see. All right, um, the time is 1.33 p.m. and it is February 12th of 2021. Welcome and thank you for attending the Colorado Board of Examiners of Nursing Home Administrators Stakeholder Meeting via webinar today. Um, before we get started, we wanted to introduce the staff members from the division that are present. Uh, my name is Darcy Magnuson, and I'm a regulatory analyst with the division. Also attending is Karen Phelan, who is the program director for the board. We will be facilitating the stakeholder meeting. In compliance with the governor's orders regarding COVID-19, the division has transitioned to a platform that is 100% virtual, and we appreciate um, your flexibility. As many of you have been to DORA stakeholder meetings before, we would like to reiterate the importance of your comments today. DORA makes decisions every day that may affect your life and your business, so your input is vital in the rulemaking process. Throughout this process, our goal is to create regulations that clarify and explain legislation, ensure minimum competency to enter and continue to practice, and provide only what is absolutely necessary for consumer protection without creating unnecessary barriers to the marketplace. Your input will be part of the information that goes to the board as it considers adopting revisions to the rules. More specifically, we'll be discussing the proposed changes to multiple board rules in compliance with section 2441033 of the Colorado Revised Statute, which mandates a regularly scheduled review of the rules to assess continuing need, appropriateness, and cost effectiveness of the rules to determine if they should be continued in their current form modified or repealed, the statutorily regarded principles for review, ensure the rules, um, and there's a list of criteria that I will show on my screen here momentarily of what's guiding the board in this process. So this meeting today is being recorded and will be posted on the board's website at a later date. As this meeting is being held solely by webinar, please raise your hand and we will unmute you so you can speak to provide comments regarding the proposed rule changes. Before we start taking comments, we ask that you state your name and who you represent. Feel free to provide either general comments on the rule changes or specific comments. Please limit your comments to no more than three to five minutes and try not to repeat something that was already said. Stating you're in full agreement with someone else works just fine and will be noted. If you are using the audio through your computer, please remember to put any phones on vibrate or turn them off. And whether you are using computer or phone audio, try to keep background noises to a minimum when speaking. So I'm gonna shift gears and pause for a second to show my screen. Um, so hold on one second. Okay, so what you're seeing now um, is the statutory criteria that will be guiding the board. Um, it's section 2441033.3, the mandatory review of rules by agencies. I'm not going to read those out loud, um, but if just wanted to provide that as a, as a starting point as we talk through the rules. We do have one person attending right now. Um, we'll see if other people join, um, but I will go ahead and show the draft changes that have already been seen by the board um, that we're now presenting to stakeholders and explain why some of the changes were made and also request feedback in certain areas where um, the board specifically wanted information from stakeholders.
So the rules are showing on the screen um, just to walk through the changes so that um, stakeholders know in case folks listen to this after the fact. What you're seeing here, these new rules are in compliance with the Secretary of State styling manual, the authority, the scope and purpose, the applicability, just to make our rules consistent with the Secretary of State styling manual and also consistent with um, board rules, board and program rules throughout the division. Um, here you can see where anytime there was a deletion made, a note was made as to why the suggested deletion was made. So for this particular one, it's because it um, duplicated statute. And the statute site was made or was noted there. Um, here, uh, this was just relocated um, for ease of reference and so also that it's, the rules are easier to read when people access them. Again, this is exactly what I was talking about. So we added language to put the statutory authority at the beginning of every single rule and also took out um, sections that were um, duplicates of statutes. I'm not going to go through each one, just giving you the overview of, of the, the changes that were made um, so that, that you know why they were suggested changes. And I shouldn't say that changes they were made. These are all draft changes. Nothing has been adopted by the board and won't happen until the permanent rulemaking hearing. Um, so I won't hit on all of these comments because I've already talked about them. Um, so that's why I'm scrolling more quickly and you'll be able to see these online. I'm going to stop here. Um, this is a specific area of feedback that the board requested regarding the HSC. Um, and Karen, I don't know if you want to chime in here or um, if this would be a good time to talk about it and more so what the board's asking for. Um, I, this is Karen. And yes, uh, I can't say a lot about it because there, I guess there's uh, we need to talk with the board members a little bit more of how we potentially might put this into the rule in an elegant way, um, according to how the, our rules are already set up. But as you can see from your note before, um, the in order to get your HSE, you have to take the national exam. Um, so it doesn't quite fit into um, the first category there, licensed by examination. It's almost like an endorsement, but it, uh, we might just have to call out a, a specific section. I'm still not quite sure how, how that will work, but um, I'm sure we will have some um, way to do that at, at, at the actual stakeholder meeting. I'll, I'll have to work with uh, others to make sure that we can, again, elegantly put that in there so it follows the format. Sorry, that's all I can say about that right now. No, I think that's great because I think that that flags what the issue is so that stakeholders are put on notice about what the board essentially wants to do in rules. So I think that that's helpful. With that, I'm going to continue to scroll through the changes just so that they're seen. And then after that, I will call for any comments that um, stakeholders have.
Okay, so that takes us to the end of the rules. Just a quick glimpse of what the proposed changes are at this point in time as the board has seen them. So it's for um, the people that are participating or person that is participating, if you want to provide any feedback on the proposed changes, this is your opportunity to do that. And you can raise your hand and we can unmute you or you can type into the question function and we can read that out loud for the recording as this will go to the board. And I see someone else has also joined us. So what we're doing now is taking stakeholder input regarding the proposed changes. So again, this is, um, we just walked through the mandatory rule review statutory criteria that the board is driven by in this proposed rulemaking. Um, and now we're just waiting for, if anyone wants to provide any feedback, I'll go ahead and pause for a couple of minutes and jump back at 147 in case anyone is typing anything. Um, and if you wanna provide written comments, you can always do that as well to the email that was provided on the notice for today's meeting. Okay, so it doesn't appear that we have anyone who wants to provide any feedback today, which is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed um, with concluding the meeting. Um, thank you very much for participating in today's meeting. As a part of this collaborative process, the draft rules were reviewed by the board on January 27, 2021, and the stakeholder comments and program, re program recommendations from sorry about that, from this meeting will be provided to the board for review and consideration before its next meeting on March 24th, 2021, which is not the rulemaking hearing. Um, the rules will go back before the board March 24th, 2021. There will be another stakeholder meeting and then the rulemaking hearing will be at the following meeting. So that concludes our stakeholder meeting and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the webinar now. Thank you.